morning, everyone. Welcome to all of you, those present in the church and those joining us remotely. We may be physically distant from one another, but we are very much together in our Lord Jesus Christ. We are members of his body. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Amen. We pause here for a moment, as we always do, recalling that we have come into the holy presence of God, and that we are unworthy. So we take a moment to seek God's forgiveness for our sins, and his healing touch in our lives this day. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you govern all things, both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully listen to the prayers of your people and lead us toward peace in our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who this and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated for his name by having served and continuing to serve the Holy Ones. We earnestly desire each of you to demonstrate the same eagerness for the fulfillment of hope until the end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, are inheriting the promises. When God made the promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so, after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. Now, men, swear by someone greater than themselves. For them an oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. So when God wanted to give the heirs of his promise an even clearer demonstration of the immutability of his purpose. He intervened with an oath so that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor of the soul, sure and firm, which reaches into the interior behind the veil, where Jesus has entered on our behalf as forerunner, and becoming high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our response will be, the Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. The Lord has he has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever.
brothers and sisters, <clears throat> the Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath day, his disciples began to make a path by picking the heads of the grain. And at this, the Pharisees said to Jesus, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath day? And Jesus said to them, Have you never read what David did when he was in need and he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and they ate the bread of offering that only the priests could lawfully eat and they shared it with their companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even over the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. I read of a doctor who used to visit his patients in the hospital, and um, whatever advice he gave to his patients, he always concluded his visit by saying something like this, I have one more important prescription for you. I want you to take a memory break twice a day, at 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. In the memory break, you close your eyes, relax, and recall three happy times from your past. Spend as much time as you can reliving each happy event. Um, James Matthew Berry was a poet and a writer. He, if, you, if you know the story of Peter Pan, you're familiar with him. He was the author. He had a line of poetry that said, God gave us memories so that we might have roses in December. Maybe you heard that. Um, well, he was writing 150 years ago in the British Isles, and the only way you could possibly have a rose in December was in your memory. But he was getting at something deeper. He was saying that when you go through the wintry days, when it's darker than you'd like and it's colder than you like, you can regain some measure of light and some measure of warmth by going back to your memories. Take a memory break. Actually, the, um, those thoughts are inspired by uh, this uh, today's scripture reading. Uh, the letter to the Hebrews, says, it certainly talks about God is going to do a memory break. He says, God will remember... He will not overlook your work and the love that you have demonstrated by having served and continuing to serve. What he's saying here is that God is not going to forget the happy times, the good times. And we do well to emulate him. Remember, especially when you're going through difficult times, memory can make it a bit easier. And God remembers the good also. Let us stand, please. For the church, may the Lord help us to honor him and his creation, especially by keeping holy the Sabbath day, we pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may the Holy Spirit empower them in putting the needs of their people before their own desires, we pray to the Lord. For this worshiping community, may this celebration of the Eucharist increase our gratitude and respect for all that the Lord has given us, we pray to the Lord. For those who are burdened because of the pandemic, that God might give them comfort and assistance, and that they might have the care of loving friends and neighbors, we pray to the Lord. Any intentions that you would like to add at this time? <clears throat> Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the souls of the faithful departed, especially this morning for Francis Gatto, our Mass intention, we pray to the Lord. 
Loving God, giver of every good gift, we ask you to hear our prayers and to keep us grateful for moments of joy and gladness in the past. We pray to the Lord. Father, listen to the prayers that we place before you in your loving kindness. Grant us the things we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray together now that our sacrifice might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept our offering, Father, we pray, and in making them holy, grant that they may profit us unto salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father. You have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and saints, we bless your name as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy. <coughs> <coughs> You are indeed holy and to be glorified, Father. You love the human race and you always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. He gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying to them, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated now at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit we may be counted now and always among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his bidding. And may our church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember, too, our brothers and sisters departed, especially those whose names we now call to mind. Be mindful of those who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There There we shall be in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with the apostles, martyrs, and saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now let us pray together in the words that Jesus gave to us. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious and grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace is my gift to you. Do not look upon our sins, but rather upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world.
Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring each of us to life everlasting. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour upon us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished with this holy sacrament one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Have a good day.